Hello everyone, my name is CloudVP, and welcome back to Let's Play To The Moon. This is part two, if you haven't seen part one, you should, because it's okay. <laughs> anyway, so let's get started right away, back to file one. Oh, that's so cool sounding. Okay, so last time we left off, we had to go get some candy for the kids, because they were supposed to help me look around the house, but they're being little boogers and want some candy. Oh, there's that candy cane. Use the chair, dude. Eh, eh, eh. Jump, 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 jump. Must be the lack of coffee. Usually I would have given up and found another way already. All right, well, let me get a chair. No, wait, wait. Eh. Oh, that was magic. Just went Go we'll get the candy cane. There we go. I received a candy cane. Booyah! It's like take can taking candy from an inanimate baby. My thoughts exactly. Alright. So. We now have the candy for the kiddos. Alright, kiddos. I was against a lot of odds back there, but I got the candy cane. I survived. It's probably a decade old and tastes like rubber, but you can use it like a walking stick. Uh-oh. <laughs> Alright, where do we start? I know, there's this funny room in the basement. I don't like that funny room. Er, what kind of funny room? You'll see. It's weird. Yay, kitties, you know exactly what to tell me. We need to get the keys, though. Oh, the old man hid it inside a book in the study. Up to the study. Let us go. I know where that is because I read a book earlier. Let's see. Let's go. So, this is the book room. The key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. Is that that book I read earlier? The, the paper craft one? Or, no, origami one. Oh no, it's a different book. Desklight, the tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. So this is apparently like the reverse version, I guess? Sequel? I, I don't know, of Twilight, because, you know, zombies with sunlight smells of daisies, vampires sparkling. Yeah, you, you get the gist of it. It's probably a horrible book. Ah, I'll read the passage. Why not? Uh, maybe next time. Oh, receive the room key. See, he's so smart. The man sure knows where to hide things. <laughs> Note to self, hide things in Twilight books. I don't have any. Anyway. Continuing. I got the key! Tommy used to throw books at me and call it a book fight. Until one day I threw one back and he needed a band-aid. <laughs> oh, big sisters. Just a bunch of books in here. They're nothing I don't know about, though. Alright, let us go. Go. So we can open the funny room in the basement now. To the basement. Ooh, drippy drip. This is the basement. We play hide and seek in here. Turn on the light before you trip over something. I could probably trip over something anyway. Is there anything? Oh, there's a chest. The chest is oh damn it. I think I need to do Oh, there's something over here. Over here, dude. What is it? The cabinet is filled with unused fine china. The box is filled with colored papers. How helpful. And another log chest. And a ball sack. Anyway. No, I know that's not really what it is. But it makes me think of those hanging ones that people hang from their cars. I really don't like those. Use the key. Open the door with the room key. Good job. Oh, it's really dark. It's like a cave in here. Turn on the light. Cheese? Are those origami bunnies? Uh, yeah, I'd be creeped out too. A rabbit folded out of paper. A stuffed toy platypus. Oh, that's the animal in the picture upstairs. What hit? What a hideous little creature. I don't know. Dig it! Received toy platypus. What's this? A broken music box. Can, can, is there anything else in this room? that I can take. No. What's with the music? Done. Man, it 
sounds like I saw something horrible. Did you see it? Yes, I did. What do you kids know about all those rabbits? Suddenly serious. Nothing! I swear! The old man didn't want to- Oh, I don't know why I gave him it. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. It's a bunch of bunnies. There are more of them, actually. Really? Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. Wanna go see? I got the keys. Let me guess. You aren't supposed to go in there, either. Hee <laughs> hee. Of course not. Remind me to never keep any locked cabinets around you, too. Oh, there's like two locked chests right here. Do you guys got those keys? So, you want to go see the lighthouse? Why not? Well, it's rather windy outside, but... Decision. Let's go see the lighthouse. Oh, to heck with it. I'm Dr. Watts. Mere wind can't stop me. Come on, let's go kick some butt. Music is very interesting suddenly. Oh, I gotta turn on the light. Did I get that last time? Last time I got some water from here. My last, last time I played it. I guess I don't need it. Doesn't like turtles. Aspiring professional ice cream taster. Aiming for the top. Awesome. I'm gonna save this just because I can and exit. All right. So I hope I didn't make a bad decision. It did give me two choices. Um, but let's go see the creepy bunnies in the lighthouse, because everybody loves looking at creepy bunnies. And out we go. Oh, I thought it was raining for a second. Come on, kitties, follow the nice doctor to the lighthouse. If this was Mad Father, I'd genuinely be concerned. Alright, how do I get over there? There it is! We need to head south to the street and take the other path to get down it, though. Oh, I know the other path. Yeah, I forgot my parachute. Alright, I know where we need to go. That other path I took at the beginning of the game. What is with that bird? Okay, it was like right on top of my head for a little bit there. It's like, get away from me. Down. Down, there we go. Oh, it's a little chipmunk again. Oh, no! My novelty beach ball. Someone broke it. That was a really weird beach ball. Oh. It was stupid anyway. But, but it's the best novelty beach ball I ever had. Let me play you a song on the tiny violin. Oh, who could have been so cruel? Uh, don't worry. Dr. Rosalina will buy you another one. No, don't do it. It was a horrible thing. She will... Oh yeah, sure. Just ask her afterwards. We kinda need to get going now, though. Yeah, seriously. Uh -uh, wait, down. Down. There we go. Oh. It's smoking. Who's the dummy that crashed the car? You don't want to know. That was her. Dr. Rosaline. Yeah! Dr. Rosaline. Tisk tisk tisk. Can't take her anywhere. Oh, there's a sleeping squirrel. Can I have it? Oh, a squirrel. Go get it. No, get it before the bird. Am I fighting this squirrel? Don't worry, kids. I got this. I think I, I am fighting this squirrel. Alright, I did not know there were petals in this game. Um, oh, tsunami, a shoe and other shoe. Do tsunami kick. The loudest. This ends here! Yeah! Stop it! Or we'll tell Ma you animal abuse. Aww. Yeah, she'll call the cops on you. Oh, she called the cops on you. Aw, come on. I wasn't actually gonna. Don't you like role-playing? I liked it. I was genuinely hoping I'd fight that squirrel. You should be ashamed of yourself. Huh, let's name it Teddy. Okay. Let's just go. My whole night is ruined. My night's ruined too. That was awesome. I really wanted to do that. And they didn't let me.
Not that I'd ever really want to go fight a squirrel, but it was just so epic. I really thought that I was going to do something there. Especially a squirrel. I don't expect that. You expect that in some other game, I guess. Traversing through the forest, finding squirrel monsters, but oh. All the lighthouse is all boarded up. How sad. What is that? Is that a grave? In memory of River E. Wiles. River Wiles, huh? Was she John's wife? Dunno. Come on, the lighthouse is right there. Yes, let us go to the light. I almost said White House. That's a small White House. Hello. Are they walking without me? Oh, yeah, they totally are. Okay, cool. There's more rabbits. Oh, that one has a sweater. This is it. Go get this sweater. Oh, multicolored paper rabbit. Hey, this wasn't here when we came last week. Oh, yeah. Johnny must have come here before he fell ill again. Two colors, huh? Am I the only one who's a little creeped out by these, though? There was that picture of that lady holding something yellow and blue, though. So th th there's that rabbit. Yeah, you are. Yep. Oh, my God. What is that? Oh, this is a phone. Someone's calling me. Ack. I should have guessed. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we're coming. Blah, blah, blah. Man, he must be a fun doctor to work with, but genuinely irritating. Anyway, alright, let's head back. As for this, received a paper rabbit. Is there anything? Well, I didn't get to see what that thing was. And we're back. Did you miss us? There's I didn't see what that last part was. Anyway, where the cactus were you doing? Oh, what the cactus? Not where. Pff, who says where the cactus? Burning ants with a magnifying glass. Using moonlight? Okay, I was taking a nap then. God, it's so hard to be a smartass nowadays. I don't know, you got it pretty well done. You're pretty good at being half of it, yeah. There you go. Your helmet's on the couch. Get it on, and we're going in. But, but I wanted to see that picture. Is it the rabbit? Oh, the cat, the rabbit right there? Oh, there's that platypus doll. Is it going to say anything different? It, well, whatever. Do I still have those items in my inventory? Yeah, I do. Oh, since I'm here. Alright. Whatever. Hmm. Initiate the sequence. Let's do this. Ready or not, here it goes. Pew. 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 Ooh, blinding light. No paintings. The paintings are gone. Art thief on the loose. Oh, hello. This should be the last accessible memory. Disable speech for all except Johnny. What's that done? Done. Let's get in. What's that mean? Oh, at any time you can view your position in time by moving the mouse towards the top of the screen. Okay, so it shows me that I'm at the old age, Johnny. Do I go all the way back to the kid, Johnny? Anyway. Can I go to the bathroom? Nope. Oh, this is weird. Guess down the stairs we go. Um. Oh, all these ways are blocked. I guess down it is. That's the only way I can go. I guess I'm gonna go look at the lighthouse. Oh, look! Peoples! Must be Johnny. I'm guessing uh, the caretaker? Maybe? Johnny. What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. 
My name is Dr. Eva Rosalina, and this is Dr. Von Matterhorn. Dr. Lorenzo Von Matterhorn. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Actually, you've already called us. Ooh, that's kind of scary for a memory. Just like, pop, she's not here. We're here to fulfill our contract from the relative future. Careful there. If you slip off the cliff, we're going to have to reload this memory. Watch it, Neil. Show some respect. Seriously. Sometimes, Mr. Watts, you need to choose your stuff better. <laughs> it's just a program, you know? Not to him! I know, but this is his last accessible memory, and we need its cooperation. Worst comes to worst, we can just reboot it. Just shut up, dude. Why would you waste time like that? You... You are here to take me to the moon, aren't you? Yes, John. I suppose I had a good run. Not good enough, it seems. I... You just dish. So, can you do it? Can you take me to the moon? We can't, but you might be able to. Why do you want to go there? I don't know. It's fine, you can tell us. It's essential for helping us get you to go there. Do you want the fame? The money? Who doesn't want fame or money? Actually, some people, because then people are all over you. Anyway, you've got to have a motive. I'm sure he does. I'm sorry, but I really don't know. Well, he did when he was younger. I just do. I can already tell that this is going to be a pain in the ass. Nevertheless, Johnny, here's what we will do. We need to get you to your childhood, but it is too distant to do so in one memory hop. Thus, we will need to traverse through your memories with gradual backward leaps. Which you've given us the permission to do in the relative future. Once we lay down the waypoints in your childhood memories for direct access, we will return here. That's when you'll need to help us influence the childhood you... Wait... Sorry, I screwed that up. That's when you'll need to help us influence the childhood you to become an astronaut. Or maybe I didn't, whatever. Or to get in a giant catapult. Yeah, I'm sure that's safe. The point is, you'll need to have more than just, I don't know. As long as you can take me to the moon, I will cooperate in any way possible. Good. Now, in order to leap to a memory, we need an item that is of importance to you. Do you have a memento of some sort to get us started? I got stuff! I totally got some stuff there. Unless he has something too. Oh, it's that rabbit! That'll do. Well, shall we? Ladies first. That's not nice. Alright, well, I think I'm gonna end this here before I go in and start his actual memories. This is really interesting so far. I like it. I'm gonna have to definitely save over here. Because I... Yeah, I've got about... About the time limit I should be going to. Ooh, I'm so excited. We're gonna go to his memories and see what's going on. Finally, and I have both the characters now. Ah. No stretching. Yeah, this is gonna be awesome. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and look forward to the next one. I uh, won't have it up for a few days, I think, maybe. Who knows? I'll get it up when I get it up, I guess. I'm really enjoying this game, so... Yeah, I hope this version turns out a little better than my last one. I actually got everything to work somehow through the magic of technology, which I'm not very good at, apparently. Um, anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And look forward to the next one, if you see it before the next one is up, which probably they'll all be up before anyone views these. But, as always, or as now, thanks! I'm 
glad you watched this and I hope to see you on the next video. So smell you later.